Hi, I'm Maya from Vocrum Dreams and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about my Paranormal Romance Readathon wrap up. I do have a TBR video, I will leave it somewhere here and down below. So basically this was a week long readathon where you had to read Paranormal Romance. Uh, there were some prompts. Uh, there's a bingo card that I will leave here. Uh, I did very well on this readathon. I'm so happy. Uh, I basically read all the books but one that I had on my TBR, which I'm ecstatic. And for like a week long readathon, I did a lot of reading. So I'll just go through the prompts and tell you what I managed to read for it or not. So uh, for prompt one, read a novella. I read The Power of Hades by Eliza Rain and Rose sorry, Rose Wilson. Uh, this was also the group book for this readathon. Basically, in this book, we follow our character, Percy or Persephone. Uh, basically, she gets uh, kidnapped by Zeus. She's from, you know, today and uh, modern times, and she gets kidnapped by Zeus to participate in the games to become the wife of Hades. And since she's Persephone, the actual Persephone uh, that Hades was married to before, there is some complications. So uh, Persephone doesn't really remember anything about her life before, uh, you know, everybody around her knows, so that kind of gives you a level of frustration because they can't tell her anything. Uh, but yeah, it was an okay novella, but I have a little gripe with it because, you know, it was a group book for a paranormal romance. Doesn't, we didn't really have a lot of romance in it. I mean, Persephone and Hades had like a couple of moments here and there, but it wasn't really all that romancy. So the, uh, it did end on a cliffhanger, so I think I will continue with the series, but you know, I'll just go th in it thinking of it as like, I mean, hopefully there'll be more romance in the second one. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I also use this book for the prompt Fated Mates because one of the hosts said that it was a Fated Mates books, but since it, I guess it's uh, Persephone and uh, Hades. I guess so. Uh, but I can basically use anything that I've read so far for like being Fated Mates, so. It's fine. Uh, I also used it for uh, indie author prompt. Basically, the, the authors are indie authors, apparently, and uh, for nothing else. So the next book I read for this readathon is The Enforcer Enigma by G.L. Carriger. This is book, I think, three or four in her uh, San Andreas uh, pack uh, series. Uh, basically, in each book, we follow a couple from the pack or either a member of the pack that hooks up with another person outside of the pack and then they become part of the pack. So basically uh, it's an uh, all male pack. So they also have, they're also all, most, not all of them are gay, but one of them is not, but most of them are like somewhere in the LGBTQ alphabet. And um, in this fourth book, we follow two members of the, of the pack as they, I guess, get their heads out of their asses and, and, and become, a couple finally uh so one of them is an enforcer it's like a, a, a in this uh, universe it's like one of those uh, they basically keep the the pack safe uh and uh, you know help others uh and the uh, the other member of this pack doesn't really have like a specific role in it uh, he's i think one of the youngest members and just the two of them um have been sort of walking around each other through the entirety of the series and this one uh basically they uh they there are some situations that force them to um sort of deal with their emotions and then you know figure out if they want to be together or not i'm making it more serious than it is it's just basically they have this whole teach me how to have sex thing trope which is always fun and um they both do it like um hoping that something more will, will come out of it. But, you know, from the outside, they're like, oh, we'll just do this when, and then, you know, we'll be done. So it, it's a fun dynamic to read. And it's, you know, uh, I really enjoyed um, this book because it didn't have, uh, it didn't have that like third act breakup thing or that always happens in romance books. And, and you know, most of paranormal romances don't really have those, I think, at least the ones that I read for this readathon. So that was such enjoyable to, to read. and. Uh, yeah, I love this book and I really enjoyed this um, This author. I read uh, her uh, Parasol Protectorate and I read The Fifth Gender, which I love. Uh, yeah, so I read that and it, it was for the prompt, uh, so LGBTQI plus and, and nothing else. So the next, next book I read is Mating the Huntress by, oh my god, Talia, Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert. So uh, I used this for the prompt as an animal in it. 
and that's it. Wow, I thought I used it for more prompts. Anyway, mating the huntress. Basically, we follow a werewolf who finds his mate. His mate works in a coffee shop, but he doesn't know that his mate is also part of a, um, a, a hunting family. Basically, they hunt werewolves. So he goes to the coffee shop for a month to, like, you know, have great get courage to ask her out. So when they're out on a date, uh, he she basically tries to kill him, and he's all happy. Oh my God, she's awesome, and she's bloodthirsty. Um, and then you know stuff happens from there. But <laughs> this book, it was an okay read. I'm not gonna say, you know, it was fun. The 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 the, the steamy scenes were really excellent and, and fun to read. What I found so annoying were the names. <laughs> so our female character is called Chastity, Chastity, Chastity. I can't even say her name. Chastity, chastity. So, uh, and uh, she has a bunch of family members called Valor, Victory. There was something else, but you know, those were the names. Like, so that was like such an eyesore every time I read it. Thankfully, the our werewolf didn't call her that. He called her Chastity, which is like, oh, thank God, because if he kept calling her Chastity through the entire thing, I was like. No, it was a fun read. It was a short read. It has like 135 pages or something. It's, I read it on ebook. Did I enjoy this book? It was a fun read, uh, but uh, I, I watched the vlog of uh, Riley Marie reading it and I think she had more fun reading this than I did. I mean, the steamy stuff was fun uh, and, you know, there were some funny moments, but the whole name thing kind of just threw me for, threw me off and I was like, I don't know, I just, I guess I got stuck on this stupid thing and I couldn't move past it. <laughs> what can you do? Um, the next uh, thing I read is, uh, uh, we had to read a, no, a vampire romance, for that I read No Rest for the Wicked by Cressley Cole. This is book two in her Immortals After Dark series, where, she do book two or book three? I don't remember, I'll, I'll put it somewhere here. Uh, basically, we follow a vampire who hates that he's a vampire and he finds his mate in a Valkyrie who basically kills vampires because they are in a whole war thing. I don't know. Uh, and basically, uh, the two of them uh, get involved into this uh, hunt where this is basically a worldwide scavenger hunt for a goddess that uh, at the end of you get a really, really powerful prize that our Valkyrie wants to use to bring her sisters, dead sisters, back to life. So, yeah. It was a fun read. It was a long read because I just I think it took me took me like three days to get to it. Um, there was some fun stuff. There was some angst stuff which I enjoyed. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, it is an interesting world, definitely. Uh, will I continue with the series at some point? Maybe because it took me really like I think it was two years, you know, since I read the the the, the first book from that. Uh, yeah, but I just guess I'm not getting paranormal romance in my rotation of books anymore, so. And the last book I read uh, is for the prompt Dark in the title. I read Taste of Darkness by Katie Reyes. In this book, we follow uh, two characters, uh, uh, Drake. <laughs> I mean, such, a, such an imaginative name for a guy who shapeshifts into a dragon. <laughs> so we follow Drake and we follow uh, a werewolf whose name escapes me right now. Oh my god. I Really start have to write down names. Um, uh, she is a healer in the werewolf pack. I guess in the first book, because this is book two in this darkness series. In the first book, she rescued him from his imprisonment. He spent uh, really, really millennia, I guess. Well, I guess not millennia, but centuries definitely, centuries um, imprisoned in hell. Uh, and in this book, we found out how that happened, why that happened, because uh, his family finds him. And he's very interested in, you know, connecting to his family and um, figure out what, figuring out what happened. And of course, we have the whole romance between him and the werewolf girl. Uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, um, they have this, you know, very, very, very cool uh, friendship. But, you know, both of them want more. And when, you know, that happens in like, actually, the first third of the book is like, okay, uh, you know, I want to be with you. It, it was cool. And to sort of watch their relationship. Uh, develop because there wasn't really um you know some some uh, paranormal romance books do have this uh level of i don't want to be with you with you know 
from mostly the female characters because the male characters are all alpha male and they're all like pushy and shit. But it was really, you know, it was um, interesting to read something that from the beginning that both of them are like on this relationship. And, um, and so, you know, rooting for them was fun. Uh, I have to say, I had to listen to the last 20 uh, minutes of the books at least three times because I fell asleep. <laughs> Because I'm like, you know, I listen to audiobooks and I then I do a mistake. Uh, I make a mistake of lying on my couch and then I fall asleep. And I have to, like, when I wake up, I have to go back. <laughs> so, I, as I said, I listened to the last 20 minutes of the book for um, three times. Because uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to continue with the series. I mean, it was a, a fun book to read, but it wasn't all that, um, you know, gripping and, and making me want to read on. In the series so yeah that's it um i had another book for two prompts i had for Ange angel's blood by nalini singh for uh, a book with an angel romance and a book published before tw uh, 2010 but i just uh, didn't get to it because uh, the reads on finished um i'm filming this on a saturday and finished on friday I just basically on friday i didn't have the strength to do anything so I basically just wedged out in front of my TV and um, yeah, didn't get to it. I guess better luck next time. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for my Paranormal Romance Redesign wrap up. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad that I discovered that this thing exists. I can then use it to read more Paranormal Romance because I haven't read it in a really long time. Uh, I mean, I read a lot of Andrew's books once in a while. I reread them more likely uh but you know to uh, delve into different series and and different um genres of paranormal romance i haven't done that since college so this was fun and i'm looking forward to the next one thank you so much for watching all the important links for the books a readers on and all the other stuff will be down below um you can like share you can subscribe to this channel if you want to and that is it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.